A very good evening from the Central Newsroom. Police are investigating after a 12-year-old girl was found hanged in Staffordshire. The youngster, who hasn't been named, was discovered by her mother and 14-year-old brother at their home at Marina Drive in Newcastle under Lyme on Friday. She was pronounced dead at hospital shortly afterwards. Detectives aren't treating her death as suspicious and a post-mortem examination will be carried out tomorrow. And a murder inquiry has been launched after a woman was stabbed to death in West Bromwich. Police say the woman was attacked in Anson Road last night. The 36-year-old was taken to hospital but died on arrival. A 32-year-old man has been arrested. Next, reports that Iranian car makers touted as potential buyers of MG Rover yesterday are only interested in the company's product rights and production lines. 200 bidders have approached Rover's administrators, and Central News has learned more about the intentions of one of them. Well, Rohit Kashru has tonight's Rover update. Rohit. Well, Michelle, let's start the update with exclusive details about one of the leading bids to buy a part of MG Rover. And it comes from the venture capitalists who uh, could have bought the company in 2000. Five years on, John Moulton's Alchemy want to do the same, and just like then, He's only interested in the MG Sports brand, but Central News understands it would only take this time about 300 production line staff to make his cars. Now compare that to Rover's 6,000 staff, and he'd move the company off the Longbridge site, but he says he'd probably keep it in the Midlands, but only probably. Alchemy are one of 200 potential buyers who've approached administrators Price Waterhouse Coopers, British firms, entrepreneurs, bidders from India, Russia, China, and the Middle East. Iranian officials representing two state-owned car makers will be meeting the administrators this week. Now, we understand that they're more interested in asset strip stripping the company than buying the whole thing outright, as reported, cherry-picking the Longbridge production line to build cars in the Middle East. Now, there's still very little hope for ex-Longbridge workers. People are interested in buying up bits of Rover. If only the car-buying public had shown the same interest, Michelle. Thanks for the update this evening. Well, still ahead on tonight's Central News, all the Midlands football action and TV's latest reality group, Ride Into Town. We catch up with G4. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, first today, though. Fire crews have spent much of the day at the scene of a severe blaze at a scrapyard. It happened at Crawford Street at Saltley in Birmingham. Investigators believe the fire was started in a metal skip. A man is seriously ill in hospital tonight after being run over by a man who was stealing his truck. He was unloading the vehicle when he suddenly saw a thief jump into the cab and begin to drive off. The victim has extensive head and leg injuries, as Alison McKenzie reports. The whole thing happened in a matter of seconds on a road off the main A61 at Sherland near Alfreton in Derbyshire. The 54-year-old victim was the owner of a white transit tipper truck. He's now seriously ill. What happened was, was as the man was unloading from the back of his transit van, he suddenly realised that a man was in front trying to steal it. He jumped down and shouted stop. The man at the wheel ran over him and dragged him along the road. I saw the man who'd, who'd had his vehicle stolen lying on the pavement, very badly injured. And, and it, I was shocked to think that someone was prepared to leave a man like that merely to steal his vehicle. Police say the man made no attempt to stop. It's essential he's caught. He drove uh, along Park Lane towards the junction with the A61, which is the uh, busy Chesterfield to Alfreton Road. He drove uh, left out of Park Lane into the A61 and down to Alfreton. And he was last seen driving erratically through Alfreton uh, uh, beyond the Tesco towards the A38. And obviously I'd like to know where he's gone from there and anybody who saw him on the A61. The truck owner has undergone a leg operation and is being treated at hospital in Chesterfield. His wife is at his bedside. Alison McKenzie, Central News. Now with the weekend's football news, here's Dennis Coth. Derby